Okay. Oh! Our first rain! Yay! Look at that! Nice! Okay. Uh, what is our terraform stage? Uh, we are... We're still in clouds. We're 23% of the way to rain. Uh, but I've noticed this game will start sending you the effects of the next stage before you actually reach the next stage. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on uh, our first base build. Um, I did a couple of things off camera. I actually recentered the building on the platform, so now it's right in the center. So I, I fixed that, and I put. Uh, the, I went and grabbed the four bean seeds that we found in the desert ship and planted those, and those are currently growing for us in the food growers. And that's. Uh, that's about all I've done uh, off camera. So, uh, all right. So I want to do, we're going to go back and, and keep working on the build here. These guys have about, yeah, they're 74% growth. Uh, but we're, we're pretty good on food at the moment. And uh, let's make some water with both of those things of ice. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put these corner pieces on the corners of the building and then fill them in with the normal living compartments. Um, and we're going to need to make some more foundation grids as a part of that process. Uh, so let's grab all of the iron that we currently have. We're going to have to probably farm up some more. And we're going to need titanium and four cobalt as well. Um, which we have none of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of titanium there. Okay, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to farm that stuff up too. Do I have any food left in the pod here? I don't remember. Nope. Okay, so we're completely out of food, but we'll be fine uh, by the time these beans grow because I ate the rest of the food that I had sitting in there. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to I'd like to finish at least the first part. Uh, you know, the main structure of of the base. Which, you know, we'll definitely expand on it, upon it, too. And again, I know I've said this a couple times, but um, this is this is just our first base. And may not even ultimately be our main base, but it's just a really good location. It's got a great view, too, of course, but it's a good location for us to but start putting larger machines down because of all the flat area that's over there. Um, all right, so I guess what we need to do is go out and just get a shite ton of iron and... Uh, titanium primarily and we're gonna need a few cobalt as well so let's get started with that all right we're gonna have to extend our deck out uh, on all sides for this to to work so let's do that first um, oh, I did it again and I keep forgetting to hold down control as well things go a little faster we'll have to remove that um all right well let's just put this over here for now. This is not where it's going to permanently stay. Okay, got to go get some more iron. I should have actually made a, a storage bin. This is uh, a nice flat area out here for us to set up machines. And really, I mean, that's not perfectly flat, but even this whole area here is pretty good for that. So this may end up being like our our big machine field, or at least uh, in this area anyway. I'm going to go ahead and loot this. Um, let's drink that water now, and we'll take the Pastera, and I guess we'll take the rest of the stuff back to the original base. Well, actually, 
We're ready to take that anyway. Still need one more spot for the for taking that apart, so I'll get it later. Iron's getting scarce around here. Okay, you guys are ready. Nice. Let's grab two of those. We'll grab all of them. Um, we'll put two in there. We'll eat one now and keep one with us. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys, but we've we've actually reached the cloud stage. Um, that actually happened at the end of the last episode, I believe. Okay, let's put a locker storage down. Um, I'm actually going to put it right in the middle because... Uh, things are going to change here pretty quick. Once we add more to the building. Let's keep getting the foundations in place. Here. Remember to press control. Okay, you just need two more foundations. Actually, you know what? Let's just use these for now. And I can build that back out later. Cool. All right. Let's replant our O2 and we'll go get some more iron to start building the sides of this place. Uh, we got enough cobalt, but we're probably going to need some more titanium. As well as iron. Hey, look at that. We just learned the biodome. Nice. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do first is uh, get the sides on. Uh, which we need to do all the way around. Nope. Yep. And then we need two more. Okay, we don't have enough iron for two more. I have enough iron for one more. Take put the door here now. All right, let's go get more iron. Okay. Let's go ahead and put one more of these in place. And then we do our corner pieces. One there. One there. One there. And one there. Okay. Yeah, so this will become our... the first part of our main floor here. And uh, it might be interesting to take, like, the biodome and... We could even, like, 
build across to that plateau over there. Just for the hell of it. Just for the funsies. It'd have to come off this off of one of these though, so not off the center. So if we were gonna do that. Hmm. Hadn't really thought about that until just now, so. Could be interesting. All right, well, let's see here. Um, I guess the next step then is really gonna be to get some storage put in. And I'll probably do something similar to what I did in season one, where we put storage along this wall, except for our base was, um, our base was deeper or longer than than this one but that's still you know enough to get us started for sure and we have meteorites coming down too <laughs> right on top of the house of course of course okay well let's grab all the iron that we currently have and um that is shitty timing because that's gonna be right in the fucking way God damn it Well, what do we need to make this? All of that stuff. Yeah, you know, the thing is, if we are going to build out over the canyon, We probably would. We probably do it more like a, you know, like a central corridor and then branch off the sides. The other option is to go up. Uh, we could we could go vertical this time. Oh, good, that thing got out of the way. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started with getting some storage in uh, along this wall anyway why the hell isn't that lining up when it did on the other one Oh, because I put these in too far, that's why. That's why. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's take all of this stuff out. And put a few more along here. What the hell? Oh. But why does that one work? It's kind of glitched into the thing. I don't know. All right, I'll have to pull those other ones back out then. So I want them all nice and lined up. Yeah, that's all the iron we have left. Uh, what do we got? Hydration low? Okay. There we go. Okay. I'd like enough iron to... to do t two more just to fill in up to, to that point. And you know, that will by no means be our only storage, but it'll be a start for us. So I guess I gotta go get more iron. The problem is I'm running out of iron in this area. <laughs> we may have to go a little further afield to, to snag some. Um, let's eat that and let's take that right now. And I'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay. Let's put down a tier two crafting station here because we are still going to need this for a few things. And then we'll put the last two lockers here. And that'll get us started with storage. It's by no means going to be enough, but it'll, it will get us started. Okay, I'd like to make the uh, advanced crafting station and the biodome. So I think we'll focus on those two items next. So I'm going to put, uh, we're going to actually make this an iron storage. Put all of that in there. I got to get a, another O2 bottle. I ran out while I was out and about. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to go gather up all the stuff we need to make a biotome and an advanced craft station. Let's do something else, too. Let's take this and... I'm going to put you right here. And you can go there, and then we'll get another thing of iron to put some stairs going up there. Damn it, Jim. It's not completely lined up with the door, but I can't do anything about that because of the stupid foundations that are not the same dimensions as the buildings. I don't understand why Miju Games did that. Does anybody know? Anybody have an inkling as to why they did it that way? Because it doesn't make sense to me, man. Let's grab that silicone. Since we're still pretty close by, let's go back and get this stair in. That's not iron, is it? No, it's silicone. You know what? I'm going to grab that, though, too. We're going to need a silicon for that, and... We don't need one for that. Oh, it's kind of cool that the stairs have, like, aisle lighting on them. We can't chain those? Shit. I'm almost out of oxygen. God damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna die and lose my shit. Because I didn't follow the rules and give myself an oxygen thing. That is completely my fault. And I deserved to die and lose all my stuff. I'm pissed about it, but I deserved it. <sighs> all right. Grab one of these. Grab one of these. Cut it out, door. Knock it off. God damn it. Okay, so that's in place. No, no, no. That's not what we want to do. I had to pick that thing up because it... Alright, now. Uh... All right, we might be able to fix that, but I got to go get oxygen or I'm going to just repeat history all over again. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. I mean, we didn't have that much important stuff in our inventory, but it's just the fact that it happened at all sucks. Know what I mean? It dims the rules. It's the price we pay for stupidity. For breaking the rules. The rules are in place for a reason. 
and we break them, we pay the consequence. There's just no frickin' iron around here now. You know, I haven't set up a power screen either, so we might actually tank our power when we set up a dot biodome. I'm a little bit behind on the terraforming, but we talked about that last time. We're, we're not too worried about it because we're not in a hurry. All right, let's take what we need to make this first. So we need three aluminum, titanium, magnesium, silicon. One, two, three. Three aluminum, titanium, magnesium, silicon. We'll have to pick a titanium. And we also have the stuff for this. Three supers. Two cobalt. Uh, an aluminum and a lerma. And we're going to need to pick up a total of one, two, three titanium on the way back. Okay. Let's go also grab another thing of ice because we're going to have to drink this water here in a moment. Now, I thought I saw uh, another thing of iron not too far over this way. Yeah, there's one right there. I think... I think we're going to actually need to make two to three more normal compartments before we can actually set the biodome down. So that means we need more iron, of course. I believe that gives us our all the titanium we needed. Let's grab another one just in case. Okay, let's put this down first. We're going to put it in the same place that we put the other one. Right in the center and right here. Oh, that tanked our power. All right, well, that certainly means we cannot do the biodome yet. Let's put all of this stuff in here so it's just there. Uh, when the time comes, let's make a water bottle. Fortunately, that thing still works even when we're out of power. So I guess, yeah, T2 solar panel is going to be needed. And we'll gather all the stuff we need for it when we go out and about again. I've got water and oxygen. What I wanted to try here is can we... Okay, can we hang this off of here like it's supposed to be? Oh, it wants to snap on the stairs. How interesting. All right. Well, we'll do it from down here then. I can't really... Yeah, I can't really move that over. It'd be nice if it was lined up on the door, but I don't think I can make that work. There we go. All right, so that fixes that issue. 
Uh, what do we need? We need a tier two solar. So we haven't quite unlocked uh, the the nuclear thing yet. So an iron, a mag, a silicon, an aluminum, and two cobalt. Let's go off this way and see if we can find all that stuff. All right, there's a mag. There's two cobalt. There's silicon. We did need a silicon, right? Yes, we did. And then we'll just go pull two, uh, pull two aluminum thingies out of the cave over here. Or I guess I could just grab them out of the base. It doesn't really matter. Anything we don't use in the base, we're going to have to haul over here anyway. And we'll just continue to put these early game power thingies over here. Uh, oh, I need an iron too. Damn it, Jim. Um, here, let's take one of these down. That's going to hardly put a dent in anything. Okay, so I, I really need to build a power screen so I can see if we need another one of those before we put the biodome down. Iron silicon mag. We have 2.38 kilowatts. This thing is going to use 44 energy. All right, you know what? Let's hold off on this. We don't need to put it down immediately. <clears throat> I mean, it, <coughs> excuse me, it will help with, with oxygen, but we've got a shit ton of golden flowers. And how close are we to the flower spreaders? Um, up, 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 where are those? Yeah, we're a bit off from those, so so we probably should make the tier three veggie tubes. Because I think if we make the tier three veggie tubes and then put golden flowers in them, they're probably going to generate uh, quite a bit more O2 than the grass spreader. Of course, the grass spreader does both O2 and starts us off on biomass. The other question is how expensive are they in both t in terms of materials and power? Okay, so that's what the materials are for that, and it uses uh, 16 and a half power. It only uses 8.7 power. Yeah, you know what? I think for now, I think we'll do tier three veggie tubes and just throw golden flowers inside of them. We also need to get going on these T3 drills as well. Want a recycling machine? You know, we want all of that stuff. But, again, the problem I have right at the moment is I don't have any frickin' iron. Um, yeah, so, that's a thing. That is a thing. Um, alright, so think, 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 think. Yeah, we'll hold off on the biodome for now. Why don't we start building some tier 3 veggie tubes. And we have quite a few more golden flowers. I mean, we've got four more, plus all these other flowers, too. So we've got a bunch of that stuff. So we need silicon. At least we don't need iron for these. That's the good thing. So silicon, magnesium, and aluminum, and water. Okay, so let's grab silicon... Let's just grab all the aluminum out of here for now. Uh, we are, oh, you know what though? We are gonna have to create another solar power panel thing to support all of those. And these, yeah, those use 10 energy. We should make at least one of these right now because we don't even have tier two drills. We only have the tier one. So let's make at least one of these. Um, but before we can do that, we need to make another one of these. So two cobalt and an iron. Um, 
let's put all this back except for the one that we do need to, to use. Okay. Let's go get two cobalt and an iron. Um, we could probably take one of those down for the iron. Uh, we don't have any water left either, so we need to fix that. <clears throat> Let's also top off our food just so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Oh! Our first rain! Yay! Look at that! Nice! Okay. Uh, what is our terraform stage? Uh, we are... We're still in clouds. We're 23% of the way to rain. Uh, but I've noticed this game will start sending you the effects of the next stage before you actually reach the next stage. Um, so yeah, it does that. We need a couple of these. Don't remember if we needed a silicon or not, but we need it for a lot of other things. So we'll go, oh, there's an iron. Good. Okay, so that should give us enough to make another uh, one of these. Oh, we need one more cobalt. Okay. Not a thing. All right, so that gives us twenty one power. That's enough for us to put this guy down. So two aluminums, another titanium, and two iron. There is one iron, two iron. Okay. Two aluminum. And we just need another titanium. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I forgot there was a cliff there. Oh, jeez, man, you can't take me anywhere. I swear. Ooh, look at all the iron down here. Let's grab this. Guess I didn't come down this way, did I? Come on. What? What the hell? It won't, uh... It won't target that one. I don't know why. Or that one either. Must be some kind of weird terrain thing going on here. Oh, wait a minute. I had it. Uh, I had it. There. Go. That's weird. Can I get this ice? Yeah. Uh. He had it a second ago. All right. You know what? I don't have time for this. I really don't. Let's get back up there before we have to take our O2 bottle. Yeah, that that fall might have been bad for our health. We just barely made it over the edge of the cliff there. put this I'm just gonna put this here for now but I will move this and set up quite a few more over in our new area later but right now we're just gonna keep it right there okay so that should still give us about 10 9.28 power um, and that means we can set up one of these so we need an aluminum and let's also grab a golden And for now, I'm just going to set it right here. OK, 
Okay, so this is generating 6.2 parts per quadrillion oxygen compared to... Well, that says 108S, but I don't know... I don't know what... It, you know, if that's billion, million, quadrillion, I'm not sure. So, yeah, whatever. Okay. Okay, so we boosted our pressure finally. It really needed it. Uh, can we make... Oh, yeah, we can make this. We should also make one of these. That's going to need 21 thingies of energy, which means we need to make two more solar panels to support it. But we, we really need to get going on that because we've neglected all of that stuff. Um, bu -bu 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 okay, so what do we need for this? No, not this. We need two more of these. All right, so let's um let's go grab everything we need for these down in the cave. I'm gonna put all of you there. We're gonna create another water with you. Uh, we have lots of iridium rods from all of our looting early from earlier. So yeah, we just need to go. I want to get at least one of these down, but we got to do these first. Okay, so iron mag, silicon, and two cobalts, and aluminum. Let's do it. There's a mag. There's an iron. Uh, there's a silicon. I think we did need a titanium for that too, didn't we? No, we didn't. Okay. There's a second magnesium, because we're going to set two of these up. One more cobalt. One more silicon. Alright, so we just need two iron and some more aluminum. That's enough to make two of these. We should have two of each and four cobalt. Four cobalt. Two, 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 two. Right, okay. We're good. Now, you know something else we could probably do? Is this guy generates... Why aren't you showing me your stats, man? Dude, you're killing me. Not showing me his stats. 13.6 thingies of pressure. You're doing 0.16 thingies of pressure. It's not even worth having these things down. We should recover the materials and make something better. The contribution that they're making right now to pressure is laughable. Okay, let's put another one of these here, and another one of these here. We're going to melt these down. Somebody told me that with the exception of power, when you make the next tier of stuff, it's generally better to, to break down the previous tier and get the materials back and make them go towards the next tier. Uh, that is more efficient to do it that way. Sounds reasonable to me. Um, and with that being said, these guys generate 3.6 parts per thousand heat. And one tier three does 22.8. Okay, so if we deconstruct both of these guys, does that give us everything we need for this? It does except for the rod. Uh, here, put that 
there. Okay. Um, can we scooch this thing in that corner there? Uh-oh. What do we need? Oh, water. No, not that. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to put this here for now. What I'm planning on doing is the same thing we did in Season 1 where once I move everything over to the new mace, I'll probably make this the heater hut and just load this thing up with a bunch of T3 heaters. Uh, and, you know, we'll also fill in and put another thingy there too, another uh, section. Now, could we do two of these? We can, um, but power. 21 thingies of power. Oh, we can. Okay, well, let's just do it. Let's do it now. Get her done. Can I get through here? <laughs> Damn it, Jim. God damn it. <laughs> I can't even get through like that. Okay, what if we put this over here? There, I can still get around it. Okay, that's better. I know, it looks like shit in here, but don't worry about it. Things are going to look nice and neat when we get the main base going. Okay, so we've significantly boosted our heat. We've significantly boosted our pressure. And... Uh, I want to put some more of these guys down. Oh, you know what? I don't think we can put another hut piece in there. We might be able to. Uh, let's see. We need two of these and one of these. Let's see if it lets us do it. Nope, it's not. Yeah, well, that sucks. Okay. Well, whatever. Whatevs, man. I mean, we can expand this way for the heater hut, but I'm not even going to worry about that right now. Not the most important thing in the world for us to be doing. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is I want to... Uh, I got a bunch of stuff in here, don't I? Okay, let's offload some things. Now, how much power do we have? I think we still had like 10 kilowatts. Oh, well, no, we don't after we put this down. Here, let's put the power screen back down again. Da, 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 da. We need one thingy of iron. Let's go stick that right there. 8.6. Um, 8.7. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to make another one of these. Let's go get the shit for it. Well, we might actually have all that here. We can take another turbine down for the uh, for the iron. So we need a mag, an aluminum, and two cobalt. There's our aluminum. There's our mag. Um, put the titanium in there. All right, let's go find two cobalt. Starting to get kind of sparse around here on the resources. While we're out here, let's grab some more of that. Grab a silicon. Here's an iron. Right there. Close to the base. Look at that. Okay. All right, we got the pinning blueprint. That'll, that'll come in handy, especially when we start doing rockets. All right. Let's take that down, and we'll take that one down, too. Because, again, they're just hardly contributing to anything. I'd rather have the resources. Got everything for another one of these. Okay. There we go. Now, one of these 
is 5.76 PPQs. This one is 62.4 PPQs. So again, it makes sense. Well, actually, oh shit, hold on. Put that back. We have more gold and flowers, so we might as well use them first and let these, whoops, and let these guys continue on. Let's have some food. Okay, so we need silicon, a mag, and aluminum. There's a mag, we got the silicon. And an aluminum. And we need a water. In fact, we need two waters. Oh. Put the silicon away, didn't I? Wait, what did I do with the silicon? Oh, I need two silicon. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, almost did it again. Jeez Louise. That's silicon, that's silicon. Oh, I thought that, that was a floater. Grab that silicon. We have some iron. We need to grab another thing of ice. In fact, let's grab two, two more ice. Because uh, I want to see if I can make two more of these guys. Well, actually, three more if we want to use all of our golden flowers. Uh, okay. We'll put you right there. And I need a mag and an aluminum. A mag, or no, that's an aluminum, and that's a mag. Oh, and a water. Flower pot. Okay. Let's get one more of these made. Do we have enough power to do that? Uh, isn't it 8.7? Yeah, it is. All right, we got to do another solar panel. <sighs> Damn it, Jim. It's okay. It's part of the fun of the game. I'm just pretending like I'm frustrated. I'm not. It's fun. It's all good. Everybody relax. Okay. Uh, let's put you in there. So we need two cobalt, one mag, and one iron. Let's go this way. We have water, yep. Ooh, gelsers. That was close. <laughs> okay, there's our two cobalt. There's our mag. And we're good. While we're down here, though, let's grab some of this. And some of this. And some of that. And some more of that. Where did all this iron come from? I guess it's been down here. It didn't come from a meteorite, because I'd be able to just pick it straight up if that was the case. Guess I just missed it. Hydration level, yeah. Got you.
We maybe should go hit that chest down there. Just because it might give us some a bunch more iron and stuff. Oh, wait. We're making one of these first. Right. Okay. Now, uh, we need another aluminum for that. Running out of aluminum, uh, of aluminum here. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Let's put you right here. Okay, so now we're fully utilizing all of our golden flowers. And we've boosted our, uh, our pressure, our oxygen, and our heat. Quite a bit more from what we were doing earlier. We're now 53% of the way to the rain stage. Oh, uh, yeah. What the hell? Let's eat that right now. Okay, so. What is this going to take again? 44 more units of energy. And that means we need to build. Well, how much energy do we have? Okay, we'll have to build two more solar panels to support that. But I think I would like to get that in place. Because then we can use it as a part of our move-in to our base. Okay, so. Two more Tier 2 solar panels. That's what we need. Well, let's get the stuff. We need two more aluminum. Two mag, two silicon, four cobalt. Put that in there. Okay, so we just need two mag and four cobalt to make, f right? Yeah, two magnesium, four cobalt. Let's go back down here again. There seems to be a lot of good resources down this way. Magnesium over here. Uh, it's a bit of a drop, isn't it? I want to go hit that chest. Let's kind of scooch down here. How much mag do we have? Yeah, okay. We should have enough to make... I wonder if that'll turn into a waterfall. I'll bet you it does. I think these little ditches down here are going to turn into, like, little rivers. When the, uh... When the ice melts and we get, you know, we start getting into the water stage. It's going to look awesome. Okay, so two more of these. How did I miss another cobalt? How do these things happen? I want to know. Inquiring minds and all that. There we go. Alright, we should have enough power to support a biodome. 40.4. 44.4 is what it uses. We have 58.12. Okay. Let's grab all the stuff we need for the biodome. Um, and also, I want to make probably at least three more of these as well. Um, okay. We'll worry about the rocket soon. We definitely want to do that, but... Uh, 
that'll be that'll come in handy, but we can wait on that a little bit longer too. Um, okay, so let's put you in there. Take three of you. Biodome doesn't require any magnesium. It needs one Lirma seed. Oh, didn't I already take all the stuff we needed for this over there? I don't remember. Okay, we'll, we'll pick up a couple cobalt on the way over. But we also need... Some iron and some more of you. Yeah, okay. That leaves us room for two the two cobalt that we need. In case I didn't put all that stuff over there. I think maybe I did, but I don't remember. We have a water, we have an oxygen. Let's go. Yeah, I did bring some of it over here. Oh, that's fine. Um, uh, let's go ahead and do this. And this. Okay. I think I'm going to put the bio lab when we get it. We're going to go up with that. We're going to go vertical. Because it'll fit right in the center here. It'll take up these four squares. Um, Hopefully we have room to put a ladder down for that. Okay, do we have all our stuff for this? We need one titanium. which direction stuff is facing. All right, I think that's what we want, right? No. No. And I want the I want the desk on the other side anyway. So flip it this way. Okay, now we need to get it to Why isn't it Here, let's try this. I don't know why it's not attaching to that. I don't think any anything in this game cares about not having support. Oh. Well, that worked. <laughs> Look at this. Awesome. Okay, we could even, if we wanted to, um, we could connect the the Tier 2 biodome going out that way. I don't know, we'll have to think about that. Now, normally, I don't like stuff floating. But... This is... You know, this is kind of like a sci-fi situation, so we could say it's an anti-grav building. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky to do foundations for for all of it. So we're gonna leave it the way that it is. At least for now. I'll give that some more thought, because it might I might decide that I don't like the idea that it's floating. But, yeah. Let's just leave it the way it is for now. Alright guys, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start moving all of our crap from the old base over to here. 
get my storage organized and um we wanna I'll probably set up a command center maybe up against the yeah we'll set it up against this wall because like I said I want um I want to put the bio lab directly above us when when it unlocks for us so yeah all right that's the plan okay guys so yeah I'll uh, I'll get all that stuff done off camera and then when we start up the next episode I should have everything moved over here all of my storage should be organized and then we'll go from there uh, the plan will be to set up a whole bunch of pressure tier three pressures oh look we just got that that's amazing okay all right guys I actually um, am bringing you back because I wanted to show you two things uh, first of all if you didn't know this you can put the water collector up on the roof like that and then you can actually reach it from down below and look at that it's already made one water for us let's drink it right now uh, we should not have to melt ice for water any longer with this thing um, some of you might think this is a, a hack I I view it as we put that up on the roof to collect water and then we built a little valve in here to get the water out so yeah that's what we're gonna do uh, but the other thing I wanted to bring you back for because yeah, I completely spaced this off is we can now make a jetpack we already had several rockets that we had looted we can also make a tier 4 O2 tank and a tier 4 backpack um, so these this is huge let's do our jetpack and now we have a jetpack isn't that a beautiful thing nice that's gonna help us get around a lot more um, and also um, we're gonna need some supers and here let's put all this iron in here all the titanium in here grab those supers uh, we just need a titanium for the backpack these are big upgrades so I wanted to show them to you on camera nice okay that added another spot there when we eventually get to the tier 5 backpack instead of adding another row it's going to add a column which will add each seven more spots and it's going to be wonderful and then let's see we just need a cobalt and two supers to make the tier 4 o2 tank uh, which is also going to be really really good for us so yeah two supers and a cobalt uh here's our cobalt I have more supers back at the base let's go grab those and also we've reached uh, a million a terraforming index so we're 1.1 MTI so we're making fantastic projects uh, progress we're probably gonna start to see um, you know some of this ice melt around here if it hasn't already started to so yeah let's go back here grab that other super alloy so we can make the better air tank and that's just gonna really help us move around a lot but we are yeah we are now at the rain stage in fact we're 11 percent towards the liquid water stage so you know just those little boosts that we did uh in this episode made a huge difference and you know it'll only get better from here right okay let's grab the other in fact let's just grab all of those supers and I think we'll grab a bunch of iridium and we'll take that load over is that being ready yes it is well you know what actually we're, we're fine on food oh this is so great we finally have a, a jetpack so nice I missed it man I missed it Yeah, I still haven't decided what to do about the about the floating biodome. You know what we could do is maybe what we could do is we could make just like one bridge of girders all the way across. So it it has some kind of support rather than just plain floating out in the open air. I might like that idea. Let's see, we're gonna do iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium, cobalt, aluminum, and this can be iridium. 
And this is just the first iteration of many that we will do. Okay, so right now we have 280 units of O2. That just bumped up to 370. And you know what? That actually might be the final... No, I think we get a tier 5 oxygen tank upgrade too, I th think. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. So now we can stay out longer. We can move faster. We can get around better, you know, with the jetpack. And it, it's just a beautiful thing. So, yeah. I just want to bring you guys back and show you those things. I'm going to keep working on moving stuff over here. Uh, don't be surprised at all if we hit the liquid water stage before I even start the next episode. Because things are moving along nicely now. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.